Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm heading out with my daughter to Kirk's alpaca farm. That is uh, about an hour and a half away from where we live. And we're gonna have a little picnic on the way. She wants to have it. Uh, I am recording on the DJI Osmo Action 4. Uh, testing out the recording again. Uh, last time when I was out, I was playing uh, for the first time. But uh, today, I uh, lowered the gain uh, to negative nine at first. I want to see how is that gonna sound. Plan for today to hang out and spend time with my daughter. She's playing all days uh, with her friends and she was asking me last couple times to head out on the bike. Gotta take the kiddo on the bike and let her enjoy the time as well. Looks like the, we have a new pavement here. Last year we have attempted to go to a different alpaca farm or llama. I think that was an alpaca farm as well. We didn't have any luck to, to get into this farm. As we arrived everything was closed. I made a video on that but there was not much to see as uh, the animals were quite far away. Hoping that uh, this time today we'll get closer to the animals and uh, she's gonna be able to actually interact with them. Apparently you can feed them there and stuff, so that's uh, one of the more popular. We're just heading through Bypass 101 here in Calgary. We have another uh, two kilometers on 201 to exit to uh, exit 68. So we're almost there. We're gonna exit this city bypass. So one thing that I gotta say about the DJI Osmo Action that the voice commands are responding just awesome. Uh, I've been using them now uh, so on today's ride. Uh, none of the other cameras I had lack uh, to use the voice commands properly or when it was mounted as a vlogging camera and connected to external microphone. So here I am connected to external mic and the voice commands uh, so far uh, on the highway even here are working flawless. I wonder how that audio is going to sound uh, with the different uh, setting now. I will recheck it on the app briefly once I pull over somewhere. Yeah, I gotta test it a little bit at a time to have an idea where I want to be with the gain control. I will keep you guys posted or if you have any questions just uh, you know, shoot it down below and uh, down the road. Uh, once I experiment a little bit more with this camera, I will be able to, to tell where is the sweet spot with that gain control for the, vlog, for the motor vlog. And today is windy, so that's a bonus because that's usually where it lost most of the interference comes in. Right now I just closed my helmet and I will close the vent as well and see how is that gonna sound. Another marshmallow trying to get into the traffic. I will see if I can pull over somewhere here. So we are turning east on Highway 9. Another 30 kilometers on this road. 47 minutes to go. So riding on the east side of Calgary, not my cup of tea, being in the wide open, all you see is farmlands and the crops are ready to be harvested now. Be sure the harvest is going to be coming in a full blast. I've seen some of the places already uh, being worked on. East side, like uh, I don't think uh, I even uh, bothered going ever on this side of the city. It's just uh, really nothing to see. It's like being being from Manitoba and coming here looking at it again. The reason why I moved into Calgary because of the mountains. So it's always nice to see on the, the west side. 
it's so much more interesting. Oh, there we go. Speaking of the guy, he's uh, harvesting something here. I don't know what. As far as you look, it's farmland. So now we're heading out, heading north on Alberta 806 and in 17 kilometers we should get closer to the destination a few hills up and down nothing still around just farmland and there's uh, I don't even know that on this side of the city uh, there's so many farms and towns like smaller towns even the town that I, we, I just stopped a while ago to fill up the bike at the gas station never heard of those names <laughs> city boy another town that we're coming to and they're so sh such a short distance apart wheat as, as far as you can see well we got five minutes left we're almost there we're almost arriving at the alpaca farm I hope it's uh, we're gonna be able to access without booking because I did not pre-book anything because it's, uh, the, you, you can purchase the tickets online on their website so now we will be turning I believe it will be west on 583 over without turning signal I think unless I missed it oh my gosh we're going right against the wind now I gotta close the helmet I still don't see the farm Alpaca farm store so yeah there's even a sign it says that we are three minutes away I think we're turning here it says no exit but that has to be it oh it's gravel too Natalie I'm gonna stand up Because it's easier to control the bike this way for me. Uh, we even got a little bit of off-road, <laughs> whether we liked it or not. As long as it's not a soft gravel. Because I hate riding gravel when I have my kiddo in the back. Oh uh, yeah, I, can, I think I see the sign for the alpaca farm.
So yeah, we made it to Alpaca Farm. Natalie is all changed. <laughs> <laughs> Motorcycle boots and shorts. And shorts. That's the way it goes out here. Now we're gonna grab some food and she's gonna try feeding the alpaca. I'm so excited to see the yam. So it is, uh, to get in here, it was uh, $25 for both of us. To, there's like over a hundred alpacas. I'll show you the, once we get closer to it. He's got those crooked teeth. Oh, uh, 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 please so wait. The guy said to hold it away from them, the bag, don't let it close. And uh, the don't feed those too much. Let's go to the other ones, he said. <laughs> so there's all the alpaca hanging out here. And apparently out here there's oh. the males. Oh. And looks, oh, 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 oh. Oh, it looks like fight. they're having a small fight. <laughs> Whoa! What are they? Uh-oh, why are they running to us? <laughs> <laughs> they're coming. Should I hide the they're bag? They're coming. Should I hide the bag from them? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I wouldn't get close to them. Why? <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> what's up? Whoa. Whoa, look at them go. <laughs> oh. oh, he's biting his ear off. <laughs> oh no, Dad, I don't want to watch hey, this. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tell the guy. Well, they don't take care of themselves. Oh, the other one got this the guy. He's pretty aggressive. Look at the sound that they make. <laughs> Wait, look at this guy! I want to give the brown one. Do you want some food? I hope they don't bite me. Uh oh. He's a small guy. Dad, the, the, they're coming. I can still get another bag though. So you're gonna have to grab another bag of food. Oh, this guy's, I think, coming. Oh, there's another savage coming. His eyes are so pretty. Are these the males or females? I'm asking you a question. Males, those are males. Oh, I want to go to the brown one. Apparently. Dad, I want to go to the dark brown. You can look underneath and then you know. <laughs> <laughs> if I, they have a thingy or no. No, look, he's like... I don't know. Do you not want some or something? Look, look at your teeth. I love you. No, let him have some. He doesn't want it. He's overfed. <laughs> wait, do I want to pet him? Okay, I'll give you some food in a second. Okay, just wait. I want to pet this guy. Can I pet you? Wait, <gasps> ew, look at his eyeball. What about it? <laughs> it's white, I mean blue. One of them or both? Both. This one has blue eyes? Yeah, look. Maybe he's blind or something. Uh, Dad, help me. Daddy, help me. Oh, he's got weird eyes, like a goat. I know. Why do you look so weird, little guy? Let, let's see your eyes. You are goat-like <laughs> llama or alpaca. He's gonna come out. Oh, I see him! I see his butt! Dad, I see his butt. You can see his butt. But I don't know, maybe so. There's not too many babies or maybe they would fight. Oh. A lot of different theories could be. We could have asked, we could have asked the guy why they have to be separated. Look at that pretty birdie. There's more over there on the other side. I know. I want to go to those later. Little guy. <laughs> Why are you running? Uh, look at the other fat one. <laughs> this guy is like... Chungus. Stuffy. <laughs> Throw him a seed. Maybe he's going to eat it. A seed? Do you want a seed, little guy? Here. Oh, I missed. <laughs> look at that guy. How chubby that guy is. Llama, you scared him. Eyes are as pretty as hops. I hope it doesn't rain because I left Hop outside today. He has like the biggest ears out of all of them. I'll get you some more, okay? Because I was like barely anything when I gave you. Ah! Okay, you guys, you need to share. Stop! You need to share with your fellow siblings. Buddy, brown one, come here. I think we're gonna have to go back for round two here. Stop following! Well, this one still has a baby fur. Natalia, this one. Oh, do you want me to be scared? I don't... We can try giving him, but I don't... Slowly. It's okay. Hey, little guy or girl. I don't know what you are. Okay. Didn't look yet. Okay, I want to touch it. Touch it.
Is this fluffy? <laughs> yeah, like a pillow. Here. I don't know if you're gonna want this. This guy's they're, they're, they're so fluffy, I just wanna give them a hug. <laughs> Dada, I, I want a baby alpaca now. Ooh, caramel. Come back here, caramel. Stop it! You already got some! Can I pet you? Please, 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 please. <gasps> I like you. They only like to be petted Are on the Are they eating the food? No, they don't like it. Are you the mama? Are you the mama of that one? This one's got just one black spot <laughs> on top. Brown. Why are you giving me so much attitude? He <gasps> likes it. Look. You want to bite. They're not meat eaters. They won't eat you. <laughs> you, your teeth. Hey, you, you, on my gluten. You. They all have gluten. <laughs> I thought you were a person. Mama. Nope, I don't think you're gonna like it. Oh, <gasps> it's actually eating it. Kind of. Kind of. No, no. No! Check out his Robert's didn't you? Tata, hurry! Brown, white, This everything. guy is totally different colors. Run, 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 run. Oh, Tata, look. I literally ran out of food, Tata, and two llamas. Well, not two llamas. Where's the Renki next year? No, it's gonna beat me! No! Yes, it will. And there we got chicken. This one is like missing feathers. This good thing. Chicken, it's ready to eat. Oh, I take two bags. We should eat it. Eat what? Chicken. Yeah. Then I took two bags by accident. They're right. Huh? Some of them are ugly. Oh, what about the black one? <coughs> Bapchas caught it. He said I... that this guy is the gentlest with eating. Yep, that guy's the gentlest. Do they have to cut their teeth? I don't know. They should be able to grind them themselves. There's more up there on top of the hill and sunflower is growing here. It must be nice to have an acreage like this. Uh, do they live the, here? The guy is coming from the back. Hi. What's up? <laughs> He's being scared. What's up, dude? Happy llama, sad llama, mentally disturbed llama, super llama, drama llama, big fat mama llama. But the, the alpaca. Happy alpaca, sad alpaca, mentally disturbed alpaca. Uh, oh, you a bit of... Hey, you, do not eat out of the bag. Because you could eat the bag. <laughs> it's like ASMR. Ow, you bite too much. I want... I think this guy looks like a baby. <laughs> What's that? From Lion King. Oh, Mufasa. Oh, Mufasa. <laughs> oh, this guy doesn't like it. Can I give you a hug, though? Yes, I'd like to give hugs. Oh, no! <laughs> How about the breath on this one? It doesn't stink. It doesn't stink. I want this one. Yeah, sure, let's get it on the motorcycle and carry on. <laughs> We're gonna strap it to the back. <laughs> That's no food. That's no food. I'm still hugging this guy. Because I love him. Or her. I don't know. Who are you? You want some too? <laughs> so yeah, there's a little playground area for kids as well. I want to see what they have. Like We can have a look there shortly. Dad, the brown one really likes hugs. Yeah, obviously. I was hugging him for like five minutes straight and he loved it. So, how was the alpaca visit? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> There's that the gatekeeper. We still have some leftover there food. There is the gatekeeper. He always guards the gate, this dude. <laughs> he doesn't like going up. He doesn't hang out with his friends. <laughs> He's got a job to do, I guess. This guy's not a pretty, like, nice too. Your own wrist. Have fun. Please respect so the Now owners. we're going to check out the play park. What they have here. What kind of cars they were talking about? This? I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. No, those won't be for me. You already got out of that stuff. 
Uh, these tight tie are too small on me, I think. Go barefoot? Yeah. You kidding me? No. I'm gonna go on that thing uh, and hang. So that's the play park area. If they actually make it So there you go, little llamas. Llamas. <laughs> or alpaca, alpaca socks. Look at these. Ornament. Uh huh. I hope it was good that you stopped by. Oh yeah, she, she loves alpacas and llamas. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here at the farm. Natalie, did you have fun? Yes, I loved she it. She did have fun. She a lot of hugs and kisses with llamas and feeding them. And now it's time to rock and roll home. Uh, we will try to find something to pull over. To she wants to have a ramen. A ramen on a, we we bought it, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to find a spot somewhere. So. The kids had fun, that's the main thing, and now it's time to ride back home. You can, you can get on, but on this side it's lower. couple hours spent here with the llamas or alpacas I should say and now it's time to go home 130 kilometers about an hour and a half so it wasn't too hot that's a per that was a perfect day and a perfect opportunity to head out and have some fun uh, all the farmers are working hard now as I mentioned earlier, the crops are almost ready to collect, or if not ready in some places. Now the only thing is, let's hope we don't have too much traffic heading back home, because that's uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, probably not, it's going to be 5 by the time we get to Calgary. So guys, that will be it for today. Uh, we didn't do the picnic as we planned, there's literally not a single rest spot on the way. Bummer. I wanted to have a picnic with my daughter and cook her ramen on a motorcycle camping gear. That's what she wanted, but that's maybe next time. Uh, yeah, we didn't have any luck today, and uh, as you see, there's like completely nothing in the open prairie. That's why I don't like to go out east on the east side. I always rather to travel down west or south. Uh, because there's more trees and more like you can actually explore something and stop for a picnic and here is completely nothing uh, but the plan was also at the same time to, to get to those at that uh, uh, alpaca farm so she could interact with them I didn't play with the game controls as I've said uh, I didn't want to stop uh, and monkey around while she's waiting in the back of the bike uh, but I will definitely still play with this uh, another time uh, when I'll be riding alone and now we're getting back on 201 
and another 40 kilometers to home. As I said, traffic both ways. But I don't think it's gonna come into the dead stop. We should be fine. And I hate riding in the city. I usually don't do that unless I have to. We're gonna wrap it up at this point. And if you like that video, as always, don't forget to hit the like button. I will put the link to that uh, alpaca farm from anybody local that is interested to visit this place. So I will stick the link down in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can always comment down below, as always, and I'll respond as uh, soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers for now.